What is going on YouTube? In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install a new joystick analog replacement that will require some soldering. In this controller the right analog stick is wobbly and loose and definitely going to need a replacement. And it looks something like this. We'll get more into that in the video. So to show you the functionality of the joystick, we're going to jump into a Warzone match. And using the minimap here is a good way to analyze the drift of the joystick. As you can see it's going bonkers and keeps drifting to the left. It won't stay still at the same spot. I'm curious to see how it's going to look when my character is on the ground. Uh, yep, it definitely needs some work. It uh, keeps drifting to the left. Let's open it up and see what we can do. Looking at these joysticks, I can tell right away that this one functions properly. As I move it from side to side, it snaps back to center. This one on the other hand is very loose. As I move the joystick from side to side, it doesn't snap back to the center. Rather, it's leaning more to the left or to the right as I push it around. I think this isn't just a drift issue, but more of a faulty analog stick issue, which needs replacement. So the next step is to get it desoldered and replace it with a new one. We're gonna try to get the motherboard loose from the controller by desoldering these four little wires. Now I'm adding some flux on the pins to make the desoldering process a little bit easier. I'm new to the whole soldering game, so I was recommending to use this removable alloy um, SMD rework, so uh, I, this is my first time using it. I'm not sure if it helped, but uh, I was recommended and I did use it, so as you can see, um, I'm applying that alloy and now I'm putting heat with my heat gun onto the PCB to get the analog stick removed. So I'm going to use these pliers, but I'm not getting enough leverage, so that did not work. What I ended up doing is uh, using two pliers and not using the heat gun, putting it down. Uh, one pliers I was using to hold the board and the other pliers I uh, pulled the stick. As you can see, it's off the camera, but you can see the shadow of me removing it. And there it is. So the next step, I'm using the solder sucker to remove the excess solder uh, to free up those holes of any solder that's left in there so I could insert the analog stick pins inside. So I had difficulty cleaning up the solder from the holes using the wick so I decided to heat up the board using my heat gun and heat up that solder that was inside the holes and just to get it hot enough so I was able to push in the analog stick inside. So the first attempt didn't work so I kept on heating it up. And the second attempt still didn't work. Uh, I don't think the solder was just hot enough for the analog stick pins to penetrate it. So after a couple more minutes of heating it up more I attempted my third attempt in putting in the analog stick and this time it snapped in perfectly. So now I'm just going to flip over the board, uh, put some flux on those pins and get those soldered. Now uh, takeaway from here is when you're soldering the, these together make sure that the solder is not touching each other and the pins are not touching each other because uh, you might have a positive negative short and the controller won't start.
Once we finish putting back the controller together, I'm going to jump back into a Warzone match to check if the joystick is working properly. Some of you may be wondering why I don't use websites such as Gamepad Testers. I actually do, but just for the button functionality. Those don't really work for the joysticks. I'm actually working a video where I fix a minor drift and I'll be addressing that issue. Now for the moment of truth. Uh, we hit the minimap and it looks like the joystick is nice and steady. Uh, it looks like the problem is solved. I don't see any movement on the crosshairs. The joystick itself feels nice and firm and it steps back to the center like it's supposed to. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you help support the channel by subscribing. If you need any of the products that was mentioned in this video, I will be leaving the Amazon affiliate link down in my description. Take care everyone and see you next time.